with head coach Kate Peterson Avion. Vikings win at 73 to 58 tonight. Improve the record to 11 and 6 in league play. Coach, can you just start out with an opening statement on your thoughts on the game? Well, I thought that you know Loyola started out really strong this game. They hit lots of threes to start out the game. I know they were five for five to start the game and ended up with seven threes in the first half, which was our you know our fear was that they would be able to beat us from behind the arc. They have a lot of shooters, a lot of capable shooters. So um, that was our you know our game plan was to limit their three point shots. I didn't we weren't very effective at that in the first half. Second half much better at locking down the perimeter than in the first half. Um, I thought that we got some things going offensively uh, near the end of the first half and into the second half um, with transition baskets and, and I felt that when we were able to push the tempo of the game that we were um, much more capable of you know, running, running out on them a little bit. Um, I think we're, that's one of our strengths is when we can get going tra in transition and they didn't allow us to do that much in the first half so better second half with that. and. We had some players that kind of stepped up their game in the second half as well. They made their first five threes. They go three of 11 the rest of the way. You brought up getting out in transition. What adjustments did you make uh, defensively to create points off your defense and then shut them down from the perimeter? Well, I thought we were taking some chances. You know, we were trying to get some steals in the passing lane. And when you do that and you miss the steal, somebody's got to rotate over on the shooter and then somebody's got to rotate there. I mean, just constantly being rotations and they found themselves open for a shot. We, we tried to limit that and just play solid defense, um, force their perimeter players to put the ball on the floor to drive towards the basket because we feel like they're much better catch and shoot players than they are off the dribble. So um, when our players, I think, really grabbed a hold of that and started doing that, it enabled us to get rebounds and outlet quicker. I thought our transition came a lot of times off of, um, you know, off of rebounds and outlets as much as they did off of steals. And I, I think we needed to just play more sound defensively, and that gave us a, an edge. Yeah, ended up out rebounding them by 12. That's maybe one of the, I don't want to say Achilles heel of your team, but the rebounding margin hasn't always been there. How important was that for your team tonight? Well, it's very important, and we knew coming in that that was a area that we, we had the edge in and that we it needed to be a factor. Um, last time when we played there, we had 14 offensive rebounds. We didn't get to the offensive glass much, you know, as much tonight. Um, but I did see our rebounding pick up incredibly in the second half, and lar in large part due to Shea because she grabbed at least four in a row that I remember defensive rebounds. Um, went to the offensive glass, got some off of free throws, and, and so on. So uh, we knew that that was going to be an essential. I thought it was an advantage that we had over Loyola, and we needed to take advantage of it. I thought we did a better job of that in the second half. Just another night at the office for Shawnita Garland. 22 points, 8 boards, 6 assists, I believe 5 steals. Can you just talk about uh, not only the high level she's played at, but the consistency that she's brought to the table here down the stretch, and all season, really? Yeah, it's, it's amazing as a coach, like, when, they, when it finally becomes very clear to them what it is they can contribute every game. And, and that, it took a little while for Shanita this year to understand that her role had to get much, much better, much higher as far as scoring, uh, even rebounding for us this year without, with the graduation of Kaylee Klein. She, she wasn't taking more than 10 or 12 shots a game in the first half of the year. Second half of the year, she started to um, really put, um, put up more shots and and look to score much more. Yeah, she did put up 25 shots tonight, so I, do you, you want her to be an assertive offensive player, but can your team, with her taking 25 shots, is that something you'll maybe like try and take back, maybe lower her total a little bit? You know, tonight I think, I don't think she took many ill-advised shots, maybe a few. Um, I thought that once we had a lead, uh, I think we got the lead maybe up to 14, and then we came down and we took some quick shots. I thought she was trying to do that. Um, she gets in the mode. She likes to play transition basketball, and her pull-up jump shot is very, very effective. So when she can get a pull-up in transition, it's as good as a layup for us. So we, we give her the latitude to do that. We made some poor judgments tonight in when it was transition and when it was not transition. And we started taking quick pull-ups um, you know, within our offense. and. We needed to not do that because we had control of the game and we needed to be able to control the ball a little bit better. And we gave them some open looks when we took quick shots. So, um, you know, I think as far as that goes, like her maybe making a couple better decisions when to shoot a quick shot and when not to. But 
um, you know, she is, we, we go when she goes. So, um, you know, we, we've got to give her some latitude to shoot the ball. And then finally, a quick turnaround. You have a very big game Saturday against UIC. Uh, two questions. The first is, you're going to possibly, well, regular season, you'll be seeing Shawnita play her last home game. Uh, just get some thoughts on the emotions there and then just some uh, your take on playing UIC in general in a big game. Well, I think as far as Shawnita is concerned, you know, that's always a tough that's a tough day for me. I, you know, I look at these kids and after having them for four years to realize that it's really almost over. And, you know, we don't talk about that throughout the whole season. And then this night we got to talk about it. But I think that for Shanita, we already know that we're going to have postseason play. Um, we've secured a bid in, in the WBI if we don't make it to the NCAA. So we know that it goes on from here. Um, that kind of alleviates some, some of the maybe – I don't know, emotions of, of the night. Uh, but it is a night that we get to say thank you for everything she's done, and that brings up some emotions because you realize, boy, you know, it just went really quickly. And I think uh, on behalf of Shanita, I think she would say that this year has been a culmination of her entire career, that she's really playing her best basketball and will go out, you know, on a really high note. So um, we want it to be a feel-good night for her. In terms of that, we need to win so that it can be a feel-good night for Shanita, um, both for honoring what she's done and also to finish off her home regular season career here. Um, UIC is going to be a very big game, a team that beat us at their place, um, a team that is very athletic, that rebounds very well, um, and, and that's not something that we've done very well, you know, rebounding and keeping other teams off the board. So we've really got to buckle down not and limit their you know, second chance points and we've got to be able to hang with their very athletic and quick perimeter. So got a big job. We got a big job on Saturday and uh, tonight we'll go to the drawing board and figure out how we're going to defend them and what we're going to do to prepare and tomorrow we'll, we'll have one day to prepare and, and we'll be ready to go on Saturday. Coach, congratulations on the win and best of luck Saturday. Thanks very much.